2024 is dead and gone. What a year. In 2024, we saw a roller coaster of activity within the fintech landscape and in the financial services sector generally. We saw global fintech investment fall by 20% in 2024, with fintech companies worldwide bringing in a total of $43 billion in investment compared to the $54 billion achieved in 2023. This is the third consecutive year in which global fintech investment has seen a decline since hitting its record high of $136 billion back in 2021. However, in the same year, the price of Bitcoin hit a record high of $100,000. Nigeria's Money Point and South Africa's Time Bank both achieved unit status with a billion dollar valuation, the industry demonstrated resilience and innovation, setting the stage for what promises to be a very interesting and exciting 2025. So what is fintech in 2025? Is it the same as it was a few years ago or has it evolved into something far greater? How are emerging technologies like AI, blockchain and embedded finance reshaping the way we interact with money? And more importantly, what does all this mean for you? whether you're an entrepreneur, an investor, or simply a curious mind interested in fintech. In this video, we'll break down the top trends defining fintech in 2025, how the regulatory landscapes are adapting or struggling to keep up, the new frontiers of financial inclusion, and what this all means for the future of finance. If that sounds interesting to you, then let's chat about it. Hello friends, happy new year and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeremy and if you're new here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so because on this channel, I speak about fintech and digital strategy. As we look ahead into 2025, the fintech landscape continues to evolve at a steady pace. The same elements that drove the initial uprising of the fintech industry still remain. That is emerging technology, changing consumer preferences and a shift in regulatory frameworks. However, the dynamics have become more complex and interconnected connected. Emerging technologies like AI, blockchain, and DeFi are no longer just hype and buzzwords. They have become mainstream, fundamentally altering how financial services are delivered and experienced. People now no longer just want access to financial products. They expect them to be intuitive, integrated into their daily lives, and accessible with a few taps on their smartphone. And governments and regulators around the world are also reimagining regulatory frameworks to keep up with the pace of the rapid evolution. These elements combined with increased competition and a global push for financial inclusion set the stage for a 2025 where the boundaries of what fintech can achieve will be pushed even further. The gap that fintech is bridging is still only in its early stages. So let's look at some of the trends we can look forward to in 2025. Now, obviously the first place to start would be with artificial intelligence. AI took center stage in 2024, powering everything from fraud detection and credit scoring to personalized customer experiences. Generative AI tools transform customer service with virtual assistants becoming the norm for customer engagement. In 2025, AI's role will expand into enhancing decision-making and operational efficiency. Startups are leveraging AI for various applications, including automating banking processes, improving loan origination, and managing debts. However, this rapid AI adoption brings significant implications for employment within the financial sector. The World Economic Forum's Future of Jobs Report 2025 indicates that 41% of companies worldwide plan to reduce their workforce by 2030 due to AI automation. The report does highlight that AI will create 78 million more jobs than it eliminates within the same period, which is a net positive impact on employment. Now, because of reports like these, you will see proactive financial sector players and participants prioritizing reskilling and upskilling towards new AI-driven roles, ensuring that employees are equipped to thrive in the evolving financial landscape. Next is regulatory technology. 2025 will also see an increase in the adoption of regulatory technology as financial institutions seek more efficient ways to manage their regulatory burdens. AI and machine learning will improve accuracy in regulatory reporting and risk monitoring, even though the implementation challenges still remain. Natural language processing will help firms process regulatory changes more quickly, while distributed technologies like blockchain solutions will offer better KYC and transaction tracking capabilities. Regulatory scrutiny of emerging technologies is likely to intensify in 2025, particularly around fairness, transparency, and security. Regulatory frameworks will continue to evolve to keep pace with fintech innovation. Next is mergers and acquisitions. In 2025, we can expect to see more mergers and acquisitions within the space. 
This trend was present in 2024, primarily driven by strategic objectives such as market expansion, enhancing technology capabilities, and competitive positioning. Robinhood acquired the fintech startup Pluto, who focuses on personalized financial planning and investment tools. And in Africa, Nigerian fintech MoneyPoint received regulatory approval to acquire Kenyan digital payments company Kopokopo as a strategic move to expand its presence in the African digital payments landscape. South Africa's Time Group secured a $150 million investment investment from New Bank, elevating its valuation to $1.5 billion and granting its unicorn status. This acquisition signifies New Bank's expansion beyond Latin America and supports Time's growth and ambitions in South Africa and Southeast Asia. It only makes sense that more M&As are in store for 2025 because companies will be looking to enter new markets or strengthen their presence in existing ones. Acquisitions enable firms to integrate innovative technologies offered by fintechs to enhance their product offering or to consolidate resources, achieve economies of scale, and improve their competitive edge. Now, 2025 is also said to be the year of the fintech hyperscaler. Simon Taylor and Jeff Kazazinin in their State of the Fintech 2025 report introduced the concept of a fintech hyperscaler, highlighting companies like Nubank, Klarna, and Revolut that have achieved substantial customer bases over 100 million, 85 million, and 50 million users respectively. In Africa, you have M-Pesa with over 50 million users and Opay with over 40 million active customers. So a fintech hyperscaler would be defined as a fintech company that achieved massive scale by serving a large global customer base, typically exceeding tens of millions of active users, while bundling financial services to maximize value and profitability. The report suggests that if these companies maintain their current growth trajectories, they could surpass incumbent financial institutions in both customer base and earnings within the next five years. This evolution signifies a shift from the question of whether fintech will disrupt traditional finance to the understanding of the extent of its disruption. The emergence of fintech hyperscalers underscores the industry's potential to redefine financial services on a global scale. Next is embedded finance. Now, embedded finance will gain further momentum in 2025 as non-financial platforms integrate banking, payments, and lending into their customer journeys. API-first infrastructure providers will make implementation faster and more cost-effective, enabling everything from in-app insurance to contextual lending. Now, the convergence of embedded finance with advanced technologies like artificial intelligence is anticipated to improve customer engagement and satisfaction. It is likely to lead to the development of high personalized financial products, increased financial inclusion, and more efficient capital allocation. Just last week, I tried to make a purchase on the Electricity Power app to keep the lights on, and I realized that the app gives you the option to borrow specifically for the lights and pay back in installments. Now, that is a classic example of personalized and contextual lending that we're going to see more of. The global embedded finance market was valued at approximately $83 billion in 2023, and is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 30 2.8% from 2024 to 2030. So these statistics underscore the rapid expansion and increasing significance of embedded finance in the global ecosystem, driven by technological advancements and a growing demand for seamless financial solutions integrated into everyday platforms. Decentralized finance and open banking. Now DeFi and open banking will navigate a complex landscape in 2025 as traditional finance and decentralized systems find more common ground. Hybrid solutions combining DeFi's programmable with open banking's regulatory compliance will emerge, particularly in lending and asset tokenization. The growth has been tempered by ongoing regulatory scrutiny and the need to balance innovation with consumer protection. However, 2025 will see a surge in collaborative efforts between traditional financial institutions and DeFi platforms. Financial giants are expected to leverage DeFi's transparent borderless infrastructure while adhering to open banking's compliance frameworks to offer innovative hybrid products. Now, these may include programmable loans, decentralized exchanges integrated with fiat rails, and the tokenization of financial instruments accessible through open banking APIs. The year will also witness advancements in interoperability standards, enabling seamless integration of decentralized and centralized systems, which will enhance user experience and expand market
market reach. And finally, we have green fintech, which is set to revolutionize sustainable finance in 2025. With carbon footprint tracking becoming seamlessly integrated into banking apps and payment systems, advanced ESG analytics and blockchain-based carbon credit trading platforms will enable precise measurement of environmental impact. The sector's growth is driven by increasing regulatory pressure and rising consumer demand for transparent, environmentally responsible financial services that aligns with global sustainability goals. To conclude, fintech in 2025 is going to continue to evolve how we think about money, access, and financial systems. From the integration of AI and embedded finance to the rise of decentralized systems and open banking, the industry is evolving rapidly, offering solutions that empower individuals and businesses like never before. However, as we embrace new technologies, the risk of scams, fraud, and cyber threats also grow, fueled by bad actors exploiting vulnerabilities in emerging tech. This dual reality serves as a reminder that while fintech promises incredible opportunities, vigilance and robust safeguards are critical to ensuring its benefits are widely and safely enjoyed. With a lot to look forward to, the journey will require a balance of innovation and security to truly unlock the transformative potential of financial technology in 2025 and beyond. I hope you found this video valuable and if you did, remember to leave me a comment and hit the like button and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.